Congratulations, everybody! And welcome to the channel of Flash with my playthrough of Wild Guns Reloaded Part 2. But no, Part 3, because this is a continuation of my original Let's Play. <laughs> Just because I felt a little bit of shame not having a Screamadelica reference in my original Let's Play, that means I shouldn't have to continue this game just so I can make a reference of it. What? Anyways, enough about that. Let's get started. And I really hate how if I stay on the screen for like two seconds it keeps going into the cutscenes. That's really annoying. Sometimes I just want to talk. I want to talk, but I don't want to go into a cutscene. I just want to talk. But hey, let's be normal today. <laughs> as if. Because we're playing as Clint, baby! In my original Let's Play, I played Green Clint. Or Grint. And I played as Black Annie, or Blanny. No wait, that's the wrong one. I played as this Black Annie. Not that Black Annie, but... This Black Annie. I think this time around, I might just... No, I'm still going to play as Green Clint. What am I doing? But for Annie, I'm going to play as this Annie with green hair. I like, though, I like that one better because I just like the color green. Green's my favorite color. and Black and green, that's a godly combination. <laughs> but there's a possibility I might, not, I might not even play as Annie during this playthrough because... I might just only play as Clint, because the only way you can change characters is if you get a game over, and I might not get a game over because I'm that godly at Wild Guns. I've been practicing a lot, so I might not get a game over. Wouldn't that be grand? That'd be so grand as we start off in Carson City. Isn't this where the game Manhunt takes place? I believe so. I don't know. I'm, I have actually never played that game. Anyways, we're playing as Clint right now, so unlike Bullet, he can only stand still and shoot. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, allude to this earlier in my original Let's Play, but the way to rack up combo points is if you hold down Y and shoot a whole bunch of enemies. Without letting go of Y. So, like, I have a thousand times two. If I just keep holding the Y button and just keep shooting, times three, times four, just like that. That's how you score a huge amount of points. But, <laughs> what is this, the 80s? Why do we care about points anymore? We don't care about points, we just want to beat the game. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that that much. This, the money bag. Get out of here. No! I had to make a choice between killing that guy or getting the money. Man, I think I chose wrong. I would have been content with dying with my millions of dollars than living being poor. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding, everybody. I'm not that much of a money-hungry creep. <laughs> that much of a... I'm not... I'm not that at all. Not that much of a... Oh, ooh, wow, that was really close. Yeah. The good strategy to use for this guy is every time he jumps... You want to use your lasso like that. If you can... Yeah, just like that. Ooh, watch out for that. Oh, something else. I, I've said this so many times during my last episode, too. I keep saying something else I forgot to mention. But there's just so many things I want to mention that I just... It's kind of hard to find a, a, an appropriate place to talk about them. But I'm going to talk about this one right now. If I can remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? I totally forgot what I was going to say because I went on a whole tangent of me always forgetting what I'm about to say. Oh my god, if Irony was a person, his name would be the Channel of Flash. Man, this is really a, this is a actually pretty important talking point too. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's what I want to talk about. Okay, so the way to build up your Vulcan gun, the gauge at the bottom, the only way to fill that up is by dying. Oh no, no, not by dying. But the only way to fill it up is if you shoot the other enemy's bullets. Yeah, that's, that's something you can do in this game. You can shoot the enemy bullets, and every time you do that, it fills up the gauge by a little bit. That's how it was in the original, too. I just didn't know it at the time. I just thought you just built it up just by shooting or killing enemies. I didn't know you had to literally kill the bullets. 
Okay, that's it for now. Man, it's so much harder to shoot your lasso as you clint an enemy. Because you have to be spot on with your aim. You just for bullet you just have to get it like in the general area where the lasso is gonna be. But for Clint and Annie, you have to actually get it spot on. And so also for Clint and Annie, I know the Super Super Nintendo version they're pretty much identical. But in this game, I think they have slight, very, very slight differences. I think Annie's a little bit faster than Clint. But not by much. It's, if it is, it's by like it's by a negligible amount. Oh, watch out for the truck! Oh, oh. Ooh, wow, that was really close. If I didn't get right under the edge of the screen right there, I would have been killed by that. The fire, the fire, watch out for the fire. Hey! No, not the P-Gun! No! Okay, one way to get rid of the P-Gun is by dying. If I was playing on beginner mode and I got a P-Gun, I would just kill myself instantly because... <laughs> you have infinite amount of lives, you might as well. Yeah, there we go. See, I was just about to say something else that I forgot to mention. Oh, how did I not die right there? How did I not die? What am I, a monster? But yeah, something else I did forget to mention is that there are some boss fights in this game where the lasso works as to where they did not work in the original. I believe this boss was one of them? If it's not this boss, it's definitely another boss that we fought previously but yeah they made the lasso a lot better against bosses in this game than they did in the original and that's it hmm i just noticed i just noticed see this picture right here clint has green gloves but his actual sprite he has blue gloves what is this inconsistence Ooh. speaking of inconsistencies We've got an extra level right here, underground. This was not in the original. This is one of the new stages for Wild Guns Reloaded. Okay, I just want to make sure it's the highest amount of points we can get. Okay, underground. Even though we're clearly, you know, above ground in that picture. <laughs> hey, maybe you go underground in the second phase of the level, you know? I mean, of course I know, because I played this game before. I'm just getting a bit ahead of myself. So this game has a... This stage has a really annoying gimmick. Everything's dark, and the only way to light things up is if you actually shoot next to them. Or shoot in the dark areas. Oh, this conga line right here, the conga line of zombies. The only way to kill them is if you shoot the guy in black. No! Why'd I get the P-Gun? Why'd they keep giving me the P-Gun? Does Clint get more P-Guns than normal? I wouldn't be surprised if they programmed it like that, where Clint just spawns in more P-Guns than any other character. Oh, man. Ooh, watch out for this guy. They gotta stick it to the straight white male, of course. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna get into any of that political woke stuff right now. This is the channel of Flash, not the channel of politics. What we wanna do... Just keep shooting at the guy in black, get rid of that conga line. Oh yeah, as the stage gets further in, it gets darker and darker. If I were to use my bomb, I believe it would light up the entire stage. Man. Oh, I didn't even realize I got a shotgun! I didn't even realize I died either. Yeah, this is a lot harder. This is a lot easier to do as Doris than it is uh, Clint or Annie. It, Doris is just godly. She's such a godly character. I love Doris so much. I wish it was in the original game too. Because I would only play as Doris if I could. But no, for this Let's Play, I, I've got to show off everybody. Okay, those stage. Ooh, get out of here, you samurai zombie. Wait, no, that's not a samurai. I think that's supposed to be Jason. <clears throat> okay, so this boss right here, you, the, what you want to do is you have to shoot him when he's down. You got to play dirty. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of them. So two of them come from the right at the start. Then the next one's going to come from the left right there. Yeah, there he is. I believe two of them are going to come from the left. Yeah, two from the right, two from the left, and then one is gonna come from the right, and then another is gonna come from the left. But they're gonna come from opposite directions at the same time. So, yeah, the ones are on the right right there, then the one on the left is right. Oh, no. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I gotta get the power up. No! Why'd I get the P-Gun? Why'd I get the P-Gun? They got another P-Gun! They keep giving me P-Guns! I don't want P-Guns. 
Okay, this should be the last guy, yeah. I normally I normally try to get all the power-ups before I beat the boss because the boss or the power-up carries on into the next stage of the level. They don't carry in between actual levels, they just carry on between phases of the level. Oh, the caterpillar. Okay, so this gimmick right here, once again it's still dark, but there are now enemies that throw molten lava on you. Ooh, I got the light gun, nice. So we want to get rid of the Molten Lava, because the, the lava they throw, it stays on the stage. So it just serves as another obstacle they have to avoid when we're walking around. Oh, this thing right here. This giant turret. If you don't kill it, it's always going to keep falling, falling back into the center of the stage. Constantly being a nuisance in your side. Or a thorn in your side, I should say. Oh, I said say like that. I should say, I should say. Say, say, say what you want, but don't play games with my affection. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, there's a molten lava. Oh, oh man, I died. Oh, no, the lava doesn't stay, actually. It just can, it just makes a little splash, but it doesn't actually stay. In my mind, I kept thinking it stays on the stage. I'm not even mad about this Vulcan. This is actually a pretty good place to get the Vulcan gun, because this stage can be overwhelming if you're not careful. Okay, the boss is gonna come up real soon. Real soon! He's gonna come up right there. This blue man again. Yeah, there we go. This guy's not too bad because you can lasso... Every, every time uh, he stands still, you can just lasso him. And the lasso shoots through the bullet that he shoots. Oh man, with this boss fight coming up. This boss fight is a doozy and a half. This is really hard. I think... This might be the hardest stage and hardest boss fight in the game. So what you want to do, you want to stand right in the center, in between those blue bars of electricity, because the blue bars of electricity always shoots down. So you just, if, as long as you stand under him, you should be fine. But then you gotta worry about the four arms on the side. So the way they always like, every time you touch him, you get damaged by it. So. A good thing to do is every time they fall backwards, that's how you know they're going to attack. I was about to get killed by that. Ooh, yeah. That would have killed me if I stepped any closer into that hand. But every time they, like, retract, they that's how you know they're always going to do some punch. Yeah, they always punch and fall. And now the hands on the top, ooh, they always shoot out those little lasers. It kind of reminds me of those lasers in the Cuphead level, the DLC level, with the dogs and the airplanes. But yeah. If you just stand under the hand, stand under the hand, you should be fine. Um, you should be uh, not getting hit by the the lasers. Oh my god! Oh boy. Okay. Eventually, during the boss fight, it's gonna get to a point where both hands retract at the same time. Yeah, like this. What I like to do, I like to shoot my bombs because the bombs makes you invulnerable. So uh, I usually like to save all my bombs just for this. Just. Pour it up on a whole bunch of bombs and just save it for that moment right there. Because it's totally worth it. You kind of have to do it. You don't have to do it. If you, if you just jump, if you just time out your jump, you should be able to dodge it. But it's really hard to do. And there we go. It's over, just like that. That is a doozy of a fight. Oh my god. I do not like that fight. I mean, I do like that fight. I actually really do like it. I didn't like it when I first played it because of how stupidly hard it was. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy and really fun. That's how it is for a lot of really hard boss fights. You got a voice crack. I'm just full of voice cracks today. Oh my god. Man, I need to take a sip of water. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that feels good. Mm. But yeah, we're gonna be seeing Underground again. I'm gonna be playing it again as Doris, and I'm gonna be playing it again as Bullet. Okay, what's next? What's the next level? Not that level. Alright, two levels for 100,000. Yeah, it sounds like a game show. I'll take Armor Train for 100,000. Okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> the good thing about beating levels with 100,000 is that you automatically get points, or automatically get a 1 up. Because, like I said earlier, you you only get a. Every 100,000 points is a level up. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good so far. See, I might not even have to play as Annie. I'm still gonna. If I don't play as Annie, I'm still gonna show her off. 
I want to do a full playthrough. Oh, wow, those are so close. I want to do a full playthrough, but I will show off some levels as Annie. Because there is a level in hard mode that you can only access in hard mode, so no matter what, I'm going to be playing it, playing it again as Clint or Annie, or Annie, if I don't get a game over. But yeah, bottom line is that Annie will have a place in this playthrough. She is not going to be kicked out to the curb, because I think she's probably one of the most iconic characters of this game. Like, look at her on the box art. She's like front and center. I mean, of the reloaded box art. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You can shoot both of them at the same time. You couldn't shoot both of them at the same time when he plays BULLET! Because he has auto wave. I don't know how that missile didn't hit me. I must have some kind of guardian angel looking out for me because that was really fucking close. Man! Ooh, I do not like this guy. The guy sidling. Is that a word? Thank you, Wind Waker, for introducing the word sidle to my vocabulary. <laughs> but yeah, the guy sidling along the edge right there, he's really annoying because once he gets, once he actually gets on top of the train, he shoots, he shoots a bunch of lassos at you, like, in really, really quick succession, too. It's like, lasso, 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 lasso. Like, he doesn't stop. He's, it's wild. So that's why you gotta kill him before he gets up there. Okay, we got another turret, and we got more guys with lassos. These guys actually shoot. Well, they did shoot, I guess. They're not shooting much right now, but... Yeah, I don't know why they just stand there. It's really weird. <laughs> like, they just stand there and just kind of look at me funny. Okay, get rid of this turret. I'm gonna let those guys with the dynamite live because... Yeah, the dynamite is really good. The dynamite does so much damage. Ew. Every time that thing is smoking, that's how you know it's about to attack the turret. Whenever the turret starts smoking. No! See, that would have been a good place to use my bomb. Every time you're lasso, when you, whenever you get lassoed, if you use a bomb, it automatically unlassoes you. Stop shooting me. Or stop lassoing me, I should say. Okay, now I can shoot these guys because I don't need their dynamite anymore. And I just want to make the timer go down quicker. Die! 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 Okay, this guy. Once again, we can shoot right in between and kill them both really quickly like that. Okay, the, ooh, gotta watch out for the... For the guns! I believe this guy always alternates attacks because... Okay, so he does a gun one time, then he does a lasso, then he does a gun, then the lasso. Okay, this guy is tough. It's gonna be... It's harder and easier at the same time compared to Bullet. Okay. Because it's harder in the sense that it's harder to lasso him, but it's easier in the sense that it's easier to shoot him because he doesn't have auto aim, or because you don't have auto aim like you did for Bullet, so it's easier to hit. Okay, am we gonna? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, I survived. See how I did my attack animation right there? Normally that would be able to kill him, but I guess I was. I wasn't in the right spot. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, good thing I got the shotgun. Watch out for that. Oh man, this guy just shoots and shoots and shoots. But don't worry, he's almost dead. See? If you just shoot where he's gonna be, it's pretty easy to hit. But yeah, like I said a million times before, you can't do that whenever you play as a... No! Whenever you play his bullet! Because of his god dang auto aim. Stop jumping, man! Just stay where I can shoot you. There we go! See? That's easy! That's so easy, man! Yeah, he exploded. Oh, good old Clint with your inconsistent glove colors. Oh, we only have two more stages left. Not including the final stage, of course. <laughs> gold mine. This level is a gold mine for racking up some good points. So yeah, like uh, like the like I said in during the bullet playthrough, you want to take the dynamite and just use it to attack the blimps. Don't even worry about these guys who like get all up close and personal with you. 
Yeah, you want to take out the Blitz because they have that annoying, very, very obnoxious. That's something really risky about uh, trying to pick up the Dynamite. If you don't get it on time, you get blown up yourself. That's no good. You don't want to get blown up. What is this? Deviant art? <laughs> Anyways. Okay, get the dynamite. Ugh, it's so annoying. Every time you want to, like, aim, you always move wh wherever you want to aim. If I wanted to aim somewhere to the left, like, his entire body goes to the left. Sometimes I just want to move my reticle without moving my entire body. But a good way to get around that, actually, is it, is uh, whenever you use your lasso. You can aim your lasso wherever you want without having to uh, move your body. You can either use your lasso, or you can just use your regular ammo, too. But if you have a power-up and, and you don't want to waste your ammo, then you should use the lasso. Ooh, give me this minigun right here. Or machine gun, I should say. Ooh. Okay, this guy. Every time he shoots out one arm, that's how you know he's going to use a fire. But whenever he has two arms just like that, that's how you know he's going to do the bullet spread. Die already! There we go! There we go! There we go! Baby! Quick and easy. Just the way I like it. There we go. These guys are so much easier to kill now. I'm shaking them hips. Can I get the money bag? Yeah, you actually have to shoot the money that comes out of the money bag. I didn't know that my first time around. I thought, shit. I thought you automatically just get the money every time it just comes out, but no. You have to literally shoot the money. Which, I would assume that would make the money less valuable when it's, like, you know, when it's full, filled with holes. Why would you want to fill up your holes with money? Or, you know what I mean. Fill up your money with holes. I think that makes it pretty worthless, does it not? Plus, it's illegal to die. <laughs> yes, whenever you go to die, you go to prison. You go to uh, the afterlife prison. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's kind of what hell is, because, no, Christianity, you're not supposed to commit suicide. If you commit suicide, you automatically go to hell, according to Christianity. So, I guess going to hell would be kind of, you know, an eternal prison of sorts. Ooh. Okay, I don't like these guys. So, the red, the red robots, they only shoot you if you stand right in front of them. Man, this is a lot of this is a lot going on right now. Okay, here we go. Boss time. Oh, I, I think I wasted my minigun ammo just trying to shoot up the lasso. Yeah, the way to uh, get your lasso out is you have to look, you have to press the shoot button continuously. But every time you press the shoot button, you use like a couple pieces of your ammo. So you can never use your lasso without expending some of your ammo, which I think is pretty lame. They should have just designated the lasso to a whole separate button. Like, come on, it's the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo... The Super Nintendo has, like, what, eight different... Ooh, let me get the power up before I uh, beat the boss so I can take it into the next area. But yeah, the Super Nintendo has a whole bunch of buttons. I think they could have had a designated lasso button. Okay, just like last time, I want to lasso this guy. Just so I can get more hits in. Before he uh, closes his eyes. Ugh, he's not even flashing yet. Come on, flash faster. And I know a thing or two about. I'm not even going to say it this time. You all know it. I know a thing or two about killing this giant enemy crab robot. Normally he has a different attack where he actually uh, shoots actual bullets at you. Yeah, like that! Okay, I was about to die. I had to whip out my bomb. I, if I didn't whip out the bomb, I would have died. <laughs> Man, look at the quick reflexes on me. Where's my Medal of Honor? I am the Space Cowboy, after all. And yes, according to the Wikipedia page, it did call Clint a Space Bounty Hunter. Kind of like Samus. Captain Falcon, I think? According to that one Super Smash Bros. Melee event match, it's the Space Bounty Hunters. And that's it, everybody! The giant enemy crab is cooked.
Where's my boiling water, man? I want some fresh crab legs on my plate right now. I don't care if they're a bit metal-y. The metal adds iron to my diet. Okay, what's next? Ammunition Depot? Depot, not Depot. Depot. Or Depot, as I called it as a child. <laughs> Thank you, Goldeneye. Man, uh, <laughs> the Depot level in... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I just want to point this out. You can actually shoot both, both, both the turrets at the same time if you aim it at a very specific spot right there. Which you couldn't do as Bullet because Bullet has auto wave. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Is that even sane? Oh yeah, the music in the Depot level in Goldeneye is so good. It is. I mean, the entire soundtrack of that game is so good. That's why it's one of my favorite games of, games of all time. And I'm, I'm not even a big first-person shooter guy. I actually prefer not to play first-person shooters if I can help it. But Goldeneye just. I think it's because I grew up with that game, which, which is why it's so special to me. But even if even if I didn't grow up with it, I think it's still a really good game in its own right. That and Perfect Dark 2. But I didn't play Perfect Dark 2 like much later in my life. So I don't have the same nostalgia I have for that game. But don't get me wrong, I think objectively Perfect Dark is, a, is better than GoldenEye. But I just personally like GoldenEye better than Perfect Dark. But they're both excellent games. They're both amazing games. Hmm, maybe I'll do a Let's Play of them one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I, the idea of me doing a Let's Play of the Nintendo Switch Online version of GoldenEye did cross my mind. But then, you know, paying $40 just to do that, uh... Man, I, I have three copies of it on my Nintendo 64, so just spending $40 just to play GoldenEye just seems, on principle, not something I can get down with. If I did really want a high-quality version of uh, GoldenEye to Let's Play, I would just emulate it. But then, I also really do like that authentic Nintendo 64 feeling. Like I did with my South Park Let's Play. Because, of course, I could have emulated a South Park Let's Play. It would have been a lot... The, uh, the quality would have been a lot better. But it's a Nintendo 64 game. Come on. Sometimes it's all about that authentic Nintendo... Authentic 90s Nintendo 64 aesthetic. So, as you can see, I'm playing Wild Guns Reloaded. And I have not been talking about this game for the past... Like, what, five minutes? <laughs> I've just been talking about game first-person shooters on the Nintendo 64. Ironically enough, since I'm playing a third-person shooter right now. Ooh. I hate those enemies that shoot the missiles at me. Oh yeah, some enemies always spawn gold or power-up. Like this guy, he spawned the gold. I call it gold. It's like, not the only gold. It's also paper money and it's also diamonds. You know what I mean. Something that uh, alleviates, not alleviates, expendiates? No, increases. Something that increases my score count significantly. Okay. Can I lasso you? There we go, that's it. Stupid blue suit man. I think this is one of the few enemies in the game that isn't a robot. I don't think this guy's a robot. He doesn't really explode when I kill him like the other enemies do. Yeah, he just kind of topples over and disappears. But if he is a regular human, how come he can tank so many bullet shots at him? No human should be able to sustain that much. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, the lasso can take care of a whole bunch of bullets coming at me. That's also a really good way to build up your uh, vibe gauge. No, <laughs> vibe gauge! Oh my god! That that let's play is over. Super Princess Peach is over. No more vibe gauge. <laughs> this is a whole new game, man. <laughs> the Vulcan gauge. <laughs> As you can see, Princess Peach is still on my mind. Uh, now I know how Mario feels. <laughs> or Bowser, I should say. Mm. Who thinks about Princess more, Mario or Bowser? 
Then again, Mario and Princess are they're already really good friends. You don't really think about your friends as much as you would think about your lover. Like, because Bowser's, you know, essentially a stalker. He loves Princess. So, of course, you're always going to be thinking about the person you love, but the person you love, but the debt you can't have. I think the person you love, but you can't have, you're going to think about them. That person is going to think about them more than the person who already, in a sense, already has the person that they love. You know what I mean? Like, a man isn't going to be thinking about his wife of 20 years more than, like, some some creepy stalker who wishes that was his wife that he can't have but really loves with all his heart. You know, matters of the heart, matters of love and all that. We've all been there. We've all had crushes that didn't want us back. That only makes us human. Ooh. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. You have to really take it slow with these guys. And I, you really do have to... Oh, the Vulcan. I'm actually not too mad about getting the Vulcan right here. Unfortunately, it doesn't carry- the Vulcan doesn't carry on to the next stage. And the vibe, the vibe- the gauge just keeps going down even after you beat the stage. I really wish they didn't do that. Oh, the Gatling. Oh! I'm gonna keep my laser. No, I'm gonna get the Gatling. Gatling. Just for the sheer fact that it has more ammo in it. Killing all these robots makes me feel good. I do not, I, you really do have to lasso that big old tank robot in the back. Yeah, those yellow guys, they only shoot right in front of them, so if you just don't stand in front of them, you should be fine. No, oh, why did I do that? I knew I was taking a risk when I clicked it. Why does Clint get so many P-Guns? I didn't even get this many P-Guns as a, as Bullet. Maybe because I was playing on easy mode? You don't get P-Guns on easy mode? I thought you did. I. I'm pretty sure I have distinct memories of getting P-Guns during my easy mode playthroughs. Unless I'm just getting them conflated with my normal mode playthroughs. But I only play as Bullet during during a easy mode, so I do have memories of getting the P-Gun as Bullet. And I never play as Bullet during hard mode or normal mode. So I'm pretty sure you do get the P-Gun during easy mode. Unless the spawn rate for the P-Gun is a lot, is like reduced compared to normal mode or hard mode. Okay, I don't like this guy because he can stand behind the wall. You know what, the rate I'm going, I might be able to get the Vulcan gun right during the final boss fight. If I play my cards just right. But the thing is, I have to like deliberately make sure not to go overboard with shooting the bullets, the enemy bullets, just so I don't accidentally fill up the gauge during this boss fight instead of the next one. <laughs> Get rid of the yellow guy with the knives. Who goes up to a gunman with a knife? Like, who would do that in real life? That's so stupid. If a man has a gun, you don't take a knife to a gunfight. You want, unless you have th throwing knives. Yeah, speaking of golden eye, having throwing knives and just launch your knives right at him! I had to use my bomb right there, I was gonna die if I didn't. Okay. Yeah, only those moving turrets give me the... Oh, 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 that reminds me what I did just there. If you shoot your lasso, whenever you throw your lasso, you don't take damage. So, that's if you can time out your lasso throws, that's a really good way to avoid getting hit. Avoid getting hit. Yeah, if I just stand dead center right here, I shouldn't take any damage. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, there you go, simple. No dodging required. And look how, uh, look how almost full my vibe, my Vulcan gauge is. Okay, yeah, this guy's a lot harder to hit because my lasso is a lot worse than bullets lasso. Oh, man. Okay, you want to stand dead center, too. Ooh! Every time he throws out the grenades... I always like to... Shit! Every, yeah, every time he throws out the dynamite, I always like to use the dynamite to attack the turrets. I'm not getting a game over on this piece of shit. Come on, just give me the Vulcan gun already. 
I'm like so close to filling up that gauge. Get out of here. Hey, Lasso. Yeah, there you go. Lasso every time right when he's about to get up. Ooh. Wow. Oh, that's what I hate about the little fire enemy. The fire attacks too. Because it stays on the ground. Why does it stay on the ground? It shouldn't be able to stay on the ground like that. Watch out for that. Yeah. Come on, I'm about to get my Vulcan gun, man. I don't I don't want to get a game over before I get it. Or before I don't get it. Yeah, there we go, I got it! This guy's a he's a goner now. Watch this. Yeah! <laughs> so easy! And I didn't even have to play as Annie. I went through the whole game as Clint the Invincible! I feel like the eye impossible to be beaten by the likes of you. I feel like the eye and invincible should have been capitalized. Because that's part of his nomenclature, Clint the Invincible. <laughs> Whatever, what am I, an English teacher? I don't care about that. I mean, I do care about that, but I don't care about it enough to go further into the conversation about it. Anyway, that's Clint, right there. And unfortunately, I didn't play as Annie this time. Or fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it. For me, it's fortunate because I didn't get a game over. But don't worry, we will see Annie. Annie will be shown off during this playthrough. Just maybe not during this particular episode. She'll be in the episode coming after Doris. Whenever I show off all the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't really have a proper place to fit in during these episodes. And I don't need to watch this. I can skip the credits. We saw the credits in the last episode. And yeah, like I said in the last episode, Annie's credits, it doesn't have her special credit sequence that was in their original Super Nintendo. Ooh, man, I just... Ooh, there was a burp that just came up. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to show up in this recording, but a burp just emerged from my throat and kind of let its way out of my mouth. That's how a burp works. That's biology. But yeah, that was Clint's story. So, in the next episode, we're going to go on a hard mode, baby. Because we're going to play as a best character. Oh, Doris, your day will come soon enough. <laughs> My favorite character to play as. Doris, baby, Doris. That, that's going to be in the next episode after that. And I cannot wait to show her off. Her playstyle is completely different from anyone else's. So, yeah, yeah, look forward to that because I know I am. So, thank you all for watching this episode of the Channel of Flash's Let's Play of Wild Guns Reloaded, baby. I'll see y'all later. Bye.